My main communication to my fans and friends and people around the world is a musical one. The best musical experience goes beyond the sonic, you know, experience, the thing that you're taking in from your ears. It's, it's so physical, the bass, the frequencies. If you can't experience a piece of music in its fullness, how can you really decide if you like it, if you identify with it? So to get that full frequency response is perhaps the most important thing in my music listening experience. Not everybody has the ability to have the perfect listening environment. They have the, you know, the fingertips on the pulse of music that's being made right at this moment. But it's still all experienced on the go with background noise, all on little white earbuds. Finding a way to bring people back to a more of a direct, pure connection to the full frequency response of music is absolutely essential for the future development of good music. So wearables open up the quality of, of music again. For the listener and for the artist, they make their music to be listened to uh, at the club on, on big speakers. We really wanted to be able to bring that experience to people in a way that was portable. You have that sensation when you're at a jazz club in New York or a club in Berlin, you know, but you can't take that with you. The lowest we can hear is 20 hertz, and with tactile sound you can hear down to one hertz. So you can feel what's happening well below what you can hear. Subpack takes low frequencies of whatever sound source you input into it and it translates those frequencies directly to your body so that you are given the physical sensation of those frequencies. When we first started researching and working with tactile sound, we really just pulled out our old record collections and said, okay, let's start playing this stuff through this technology and it just blew our minds. The next advancements in music technology are to understand how people listen to music now and create devices to allow that experience to be the best it possibly can be. You know, other wearable devices are bringing the full body experience into it. Coupling a wearable tactile sound device with different types of sensors would really provide a way to interact with your environments in ways that we can't do right now. There's definitely potential applications when it comes to safety and alerting people to certain situations, whether there's a bus coming right at you or whether you're in a car and you need to be woken up because you've fallen asleep at the wheel, basically to understand your environment in a better way. For us, it will become a natural part of music. Feeling sound will just be something where, you know, in a short period of time, people will be like, oh, you don't, you just hear sound, or you hear, just hear music, you don't feel it. It's enjoyable to actually feel music again. It's all grasping our human articulations, digitizing them, and then transposing them into the musical world. Why can't this ring, you know, be wearable, uh, an intelligent wearable computer. Future wearable technologies have a lot of interesting potential for music in general.